First game today was between uh, Belgium and Algeria. First thing I noticed, um, just as the game had started, a couple of minutes in fact, uh, the fourth official from Iran did an excellent job. He went to the Belgian manager who was standing on the touchline in his white shirt. Now his shirt was clashing with the shirts of the Algerians who were also wearing white. So uh, that's not allowed as you know. And he went to him and said, look, you must put on a coat. Your, your shirt is the same as the, as the Algerian players and you must put on a coat. The referee himself uh, from Mexico, good job, gave a penalty in the 24th minute, deserved a little bit of protest by the Belgian player for Tungan, but it was a penalty. And um, other than that, a couple of other yellow cards here and there, it wasn't a difficult game. The Mexican referee did quite well um, in, a, in what I would consider to be an easy game. The second game today was between arch rivals Mexico and Brazil. Uh, the players, I must say, they, they, they were acting like schoolboys at times. Lots of theatrics, lots of play acting, lots of cynical tackling and fouling. Um, not only from the players on the field, of course, the, the coaches on, on the touchline were also um, behaving like school children and, and simulating yellow cards for this, that and the other. The referee himself, while he missed a, um, giving a, pen, a corner to Mexico when Cesar tipped the ball over the bar... Uh, overall, his game, his uh, performance was quite good. It was a difficult game. It had the potential to really explode. I thought he kept a cap on it. And while there might be little criticisms here and there for decisions that he did or did not give, I think he did a very good job in a very difficult game. The last game of the day was between Russia and South Korea. Uh, pretty good game all round. Um, I just want to make a point about the referee who came on the field without his FIFA badge and played the first half without the FIFA badge. I found this very, very strange. Did he forget it? Did he leave it at home? If so, why? Uh, in the 30th minute, he gave a yellow card, but he spent a lot of the time explaining his decisions. And this is a fault referees have. They shouldn't explain their decisions because that just leads to other arguments. He did play a great advantage in the 73rd minute, which led to Russia getting the equalising goal. Overall, again, an easy game for the Argentinian official, um, but uh, he must remember to bring his badge to the next one because without your badge, you're only half-dressed.